Tony Mormino with Insight Partners here at EnviroSet, which is a modular chiller plant manufacturer, among other things, many other things which we're gonna talk about here. And I got Tim Tilly, who's the president of the company. And we're gonna let you know what's going on here. So Tim, I see some amazing big package chiller plants. Absolutely. What's going on with that stuff? <laughs> Absolutely. Well, EnviroSAF at its heart is an engineering and manufacturing firm. Got it. So we engineer custom systems, uh, custom integrated fluid handling heat transfer systems. Fluid handling heat transfer. Fluid right. handling and heat transfer. Uh, engineering terminology. Uh, but at the heart of it, as what you said, a modular chiller plant is heat transfer. It's cooling either a process, it's comfort cooling related, process cooling, or any other related. Right. Uh, even for ice storage. Right, uh, right. So heat transfer is heat transfer. And when I hear modular chiller plant, we're talking about the whole plant. We're not talking about a modular chiller in a box where you put 15 in a row. These are these are actual chiller plants, right? Like Lots. the plant behind us, Yeah, that is approximately a 500 ton chiller module. That's a baby for so you guys. That right? is a baby. Uh, some of the others, 1,500, 2,000 tons per module. And then we put multiple modules together versus the traditional modular word uh, right. was related to heat pumps and things like that. There were 15, 30 tons a piece to go to go. It's incredible. And we're looking at a few right now. We'll put some B-roll in here. 10,000 tons, 8,000 ton plants, which is Absolutely. A, sum, a sum of all the modules, individual modules in there. And we're talking like centrifugal chillers, the pumps for the evaporator, the cooling tower pumps, the pumps for the the uh, cooling tower, which I just said. For, yeah. yeah, for the cooling towers, just right. everything integrated. In the early days, we used to call it a totally integrated engineered system. Interesting. So it is a process system and it is integrated. It's integrated with controls, integrated with all the fluid handling, integrated structurally. It's completely integrated, ready to go. Right, and I see sometimes you build the individual modules, like this one here is a unique application. I understand that's going into a facility that already has some modules that's gonna bolt up into it. The module behind us yes. is a repeat and it's an addition of a phase two of a project that was done a year or so ago. Right, and some of these other big monster plants over here, we have eight or nine modules that you're actually connecting together. Is that because you're gonna test them here before you take them apart and ship them to uh, It's facility? been in phases. Yeah. So most of these phases with modular plants and the way that we construct modular chiller plants, mm -hmm. most of those can be done in phases. Uh, like the one in front of us off mm -hmm. camera, uh, that was in four phases. And gotcha. it's a matter of we implemented that strategy so that we can get the production plant. That's for an industrial application. Mm -hmm. And we can get the industrial plant live with chill water for right. the first phase and then install the other three phases as the need arises. Yeah, and that's one of the benefits of the modularity of it is you can do it in phases and you can get the folks up and running before. You don't have to wait for a chiller plant to be built on site. You're building this. You could even build this before they break ground, right? It is. It yeah. is. Uh, and I would say the engineering starts early on. Uh, we have internal prof licensed professional engineers. Mm -hmm. That engineering we do in the beginning. Uh, we start that with a team of different engineers of multiple disciplines, uh, electrical, mechanical, chemical, structural, civil. Mm -hmm. uh, and we do all that in-house. We work with the client's construction team. Uh, in many cases, a design build team of a contractor plus the owner. Uh, it can be direct with an owner, vice versa, but there's always a team of architects, engineers mm -hmm. that come together to design a project. And in most of these cases, cases with large chiller plants, that design process lasts, pro lasts approximately six months. Six months from whiteboard to... From whiteboard to where we say go. 
Yeah. Uh, and there may be some pre-ordering along that six-month path of key equipment, mm -hmm. like chillers, cooling towers, some of that actually performance data. That's some of the first things that are done mm -hmm. uh, so that we can move a product along faster. Yeah. Uh, just for whatever manufacturer's lead times are. And uh, once the once the product is engineered, uh, we then hand it off to a production team. Mm -hmm. uh, and fairly well, when it gets into production, the production team leads the process once it's in production. Not that the engineering team's not still involved, they are. Mm -hmm but it's just the lead changes. And then once it's, once it's manufactured, we do factory acceptance testing here uh, to whatever degree is required. Mm -hmm. We have our standards, but we have the capability of meeting special needs of clients for, for more elevated factory acceptance. Testing. So a full hydrostatic, is that the right word? Uh, plus, plus more. Plus more, gotcha. Uh, plus more. We have load tested and run complete chiller wow. plants here in the past. Wow. Uh, that's not common. Uh -huh. uh, normally more common is at a chiller manufacturer's location as right. you would load test the chiller and have the performance test of a chiller done there. Uh, we can actually, for most of the pumps that we use, the pumps can be factory tested at the manufacturer's location, flow head, uh, power, uh, those things can be done, uh, and towers as well. Uh, and all those things can be done by the manufacturer. Then when we put the system together here, mm -hmm. then we can simulate a loaded test. Right. Uh, just with... PC performance, PLCs, automated controls, and we can simulate the actual performance of the system, check it out to verify that it's meeting the sequence of operation mm -hmm. that was developed during the engineering stages. I love it. Now, can you talk a little bit about the most common applications for modular chiller plants today? Wow. Most common, <laughs> appl most common applications. I see you're busy, so there might be a few. No, most common applications today, yeah. IT, data centers. Data centers, yeah. Uh, whether it be co-location, enterprise, uh, data centers is a very, very significant name. Mm. With AI coming online, uh, the enhanced processors, the, enhanced, uh, mm -hmm. the, the enhancements and the need for cooling KW, and things like that, uh, it is a very, very significant need out in industry and also is the need to conserve water uh, okay. within those industries, you know, big need. So the ability to use um, closed loop, fluid coolers, things like that, mm -hmm. uh, that, that is a significant need that we can handle and design in the process as well. Uh, we aren't bound by just one technology. Mm -hmm. So we, we cross, a, cross uh, the threshold of various technologies right. needed to solve the problem. So multiple solutions for various climates, various loads. Every climate's different. Right. Every climate's different depending mm -hmm. on where it is. Uh, advantages, disadvantages, yeah. and, and so on and so forth. We accommodate all of that. Uh, most of our, we, we are certified in multiple states as a modular building manufacturer. Mm -hmm. uh, so our modular buildings uh, come with it, a state certified or whatever. The st each state has its own individual process mm -hmm. for modular buildings. But when our buildings get to the site, They've basically already undergone and undergone a state-approved inspection process, mm -hmm. so that in many jurisdictions, the local authority having jurisdiction doesn't have to actually inspect it again. Again, nice. that's state-dependent, uh, but those things we handle here in the factory for shipment. 
and you are actually building these from ground up. Ground you see up. See the bases, the steel comes in, you build the base. Ground up, raw yeah. steel comes in, uh, and we measure, cut, weld, so on, right. set forth. So how did Envirocept get into this business? It's such a unique, I've been in the industry for 25 years. I've seen a packaged chiller plant manufacturer many, many moons ago, but how do you get into this? How did this all start? Wow. Um, <laughs> that means there's been a lot of experience. Uh, a lot of learning. Yeah. A uh, lot of learning. Um, Envirocept's name comes as an acronym from Environmental Separations. Uh -huh. The company was founded in 1996 to do wastewater reuse systems using membrane separation okay. technology. Uh, long story, but the end of that story is that in two and a half years, that business plan was a complete failure. And out of failure, we started looking for where we could utilize our skill sets, mm -hmm. which involved building skidded, integrated engineered systems. And we, we, our knowledge in fluid handling, our knowledge in heat transfer, our knowledge in integrated controls, where could that be used in the, in the marketplace? And we just went out seeking uh, seeking any application, one of the most prevalent things that popped up at the time was HVAC. Mm -hmm. And heat transfer systems, that was a big need in HVAC. Uh, back in the 90s, it was uh, just coming into its own. Uh, skidded steam transfer, heat transfer system. Over time, those converted into hot water gas fine boilers. Mm -hmm. Uh, so along the way, just the evolution of the company has always been to build bigger, 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 better, uh, and continue to remove the liabilities of field construction out of the marketplace. And by building things in a factory controlled environment, the remainder of the construction team can can proceed with a project while the things that would traditionally be done on site, we're doing it in a factory environment so that an overall project cost can be lowered for an owner. Got it. I think it's great. <laughs> well, I want to thank you for having us. Anything else you want to cover, Tim? Or I think we got a good feel for what you guys do here, the history and the application. So. Insight Partners has been a terrific partner with Envirocept. Uh, we just want to thank Insight Partners and its leadership for our relationship, and we look forward to continuing that long term. Thank you, Tim. Thank you. Thank buddy. you so much. Really appreciate you. And thank you for watching. If you want to learn more about Envirocept or Insight Partners, check the video description. We'll have all the links in there. And thanks again for watching.